Hi everyone, Ace here. I hope everyone's doing well and it's okay today. Um, so today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video for mod makers and people who would like to make mods. I'm going to leave some tips um, because next week I'll explain at the end but I won't be able to do a video next week or probably the week after but that's up near that one. So yesterday I'm going to do, but I'll get more on that later. Um, today I will be doing a Oh, about five tips uh, for a mod maker and tips to get in to becoming a mod maker. Um, I'll admit from the get-go this isn't easy. This won't be done in two months, this won't be done in five months, this won't be done in a year. In a way it depends on what mod you do um, and how it um, works. Like I did touch on this in my first video but I thought I want to do a video for people who might want to make a mod as well as well as existing mod makers who are coming back and like just ideas as well um, and there's some really important tips that I am learning to this day. I don't know all the tips, there's tips I'll learn and I might do another tip video in the future and touch on more stuff because I think mod makers help games, not just wrestling booking games but they can help any whether it's um, a film studio booking game, a TV like network booking game, a hospital booking game, a university etc etc I could go on so it could really benefit everything. Um, so yeah let's dive into it and I'll do little tangents if I need to and I feel like it's appropriate to the subject. So tip number one is do something that you like whether that's wrestling, TV, music um, really and sometimes stands and out helps like I um, I know there's another fantasy mod that's based on the film and TV on PWS but I think mine is the only fantasy mod that is like a Diablo X and a 9000 verse which is what inspired me to do this. She was not know all the rules at the beginning and I'm not revamping it all but again you learn and yeah that's um, probably the first tip I'd give is Make sure it's something that you like and enjoy and if it's different I actually would say go for it. Don't be scared of doing something that's different. Even if it's completely out there and over the top, this is the wrestling booking game, it kind of will fit in. Um, so as I say, don't be scared to think outside the box with this game. You will actually be surprised how many people will take an interest. Um, number two, Right, so this is one that I'd say is optional but it really helps. Uh, make an account on Be The Booker. Um, so Asamon is the creator of the site. Um, I actually have tons to thank him for, for helping me get the confidence to do it because I was very nervous. Um, but Be The Booker is a brilliant website. It's everyone and anyone who does mods for wrestling or even like um, other games like uh, that are like Buchan esque, they're on there. Um, also, Grey Dog Software as well, if you're into TW and that, make an account for that as well. Um, it's always important because you can connect with your favourite mod makers, you can speak to them, you can ask them questions, you can really delve in. Um, you may even on the odd occasion, I'm not promising because this doesn't always work, but you. Um, you could sometimes help them as well um, and maybe join and collab on a mod like that can happen it's not always and it won't happen within the first because you've got to learn yourself so it's very much like a build and block process so my second tip would be making a cotton be the booker and grey dog software um, I will leave both of them in the links below when I have got this video sorted um, tip number three would be, um, and this is probably um, a really important tip that I wish I knew, is learn the sizes and all that of the images that you're going to do so you know it's going to benefit you and your mod so you're not going back. But also with tip number three as well, this is kind of like a thingy, don't be afraid to keep changing it round. Now what I mean by that is, um, as a mod maker for me, I have changed this mod round and round probably 12 times. Um, I originally only wanted five promotions in, it then went to be more. Now it's like to the point where it's like excessive. 
and yeah just um keep updating your mod and really just expands on it as well that's tip three tip four this is probably the most important but don't do what i i mean i used to update every five minutes but update your accounts on be the booker and grey dog if you are doing active mods like be the booker is probably easier i can't speak for tw because i don't do mods but like if i did do a mod there i'd definitely keep everyone up to date it's just a way of keeping people up to date you know it let them know not everybody a business because again there is that privacy as a mob maker and i will be getting into that instead in a couple of moments um but just like let them know if you're going to take a break keep them in the loop if you feel like you have to take a hiatus for whatever reason whether it's mental health um whether it's something like personal family issues or whatever illness just kind of thingy um again you'd have to give them the whole life story but you do need to be transparent because these people even if they're not going to comment on any of your stuff there is people that are still interested that might dm you they might message you they might thingy they might um show interest in another way like whether that's more like if they get in touch with you on twitter or something so there's always a open there's always an expansiveness to being a mod maker and how you can get your mod across and um, that kind of goes into tip four promote your mod anywhere you can promote it um whether that's reddit discord be the booker um twitter facebook um i don't use facebook but i do use every other thing i can get uh, discord is actually really important as well and that'll kind of go with this one and build a discord page um i have been very fortunate i haven't got the most followers but for me that doesn't matter because there's people that follow it on be the booker there's people that follow it on reddit there's people that push themselves out there more than just that one little space like you can start in that one space but then expand it because you want your mod to get out there to anyone um tip number five don't take too many mods on at once now i was warned i was told by someone at the very i hope i'm pronouncing that right by the way so if i'm not please correct me um yeah asked mom from be the booker um he told me not to take on too many i swear i wish i'd listened um because what can happen now i do it because being autistic you i get very bored very easily and i find doing one mod can really not bore me but it can really after a while get very monotonous and repetitive especially with the fantasy mod that has been like two years non-stop so i did drag face and then obviously i did um ace face which is very down the line um and that so i took so much on but i couldn't cope because then i ended up having a mini breakdown over it where i just needed time away and i publicly let people know i also did a video on being autistic as a mob maker i might do one in the future um so it kind of gives people an idea um but yeah don't take too many on like please don't just enjoy the one you're doing and try and get that right first um but i'm not going to say don't because if if you've say you've finished it and you've put it out and you've had a little heights and you want to do another thing go for it like it's fine but i just don't want anyone getting overwhelmed with it because there's so much to this and it is so time demanding of our time so yeah just be wary of that i'm not saying don't do it because it is beneficial but just be wary of the long haul because this is a long haul thing especially if you're doing a real world or a fantasy or something that's like real world music or something it can be very much like um so hard and then that can also count for doing another mod for another game like i am with music wars so you've just got to be balanced at all uh, number seven um take so this is actually probably for me the most important and probably the biggest the biggest thing i can actually say to anyone is take time out um now don't be doing this all the time um this actually will go into my next tip which actually really helps it but what i'd say is um don't don't overdo it and do take time for you that is probably i did this non-stop for a year when this game launched i did it every day even though it was all the wrong game with and i focused every day i pushed it i pushed there's a version out now um 
so that'll is still able to be downloaded the version that i pushed on but yeah i pushed i did it i did really hard and i worked really hard on getting that to be brilliant but i didn't give myself any time i lost who i was i lost my hobbies i didn't even i couldn't genuinely i'm saying this and that sounds stupid but i didn't i didn't have any hobbies i couldn't remember what i liked it was hard getting back into just stuff like playing on the playstation or the switch or even another game even though i can't really play it now on the laptop at the time i could have um i couldn't even play on anything else because this was my whole world um again take time out this isn't a job it's meant to be fun um if people are begging you too much then just tell them to back off a bit um so what number are we on now eight or nine tip number eight or nine whatever the next well the next tip um play other games so if you are feeling like you don't want to mod play another booking game whether it's music wars empire tw there is games coming out in the future that i'm really excited like pro, pro uh, what's it called promotion pro wrestling promoter um there's other future ones as well coming out so keep your eye on them um so yeah play other games so music was empire tw or even games that aren't even booking games to just get your love back for gaming so try other things and also have other, have other hobbies as well like reading if you were into reading or writing or drawing or coloring or whatever that will also help um the next tip is um don't ever feel like you owe anyone anything like and also this is hard to say because things change but don't give a release date to people because they will wait for it and they will complain they will ask they will harass and i don't agree with that as as someone who was on the side of being someone who downloaded mods and now being a mod maker near enough full time um it can be um very stressful like to people who aren't mod makers please understand that mod makers are human beings we are um we have lives families jobs you name it mod makers do have it feelings like um so for me like with rwc this that has stopped but some people still think i'm doing it which i've openly said fifteen thousand times that i am not doing it anymore i haven't got the energy i haven't got any time to fit that in with the schedule that i've got for next year um with the mods um again it almost goes back to the one as well of keeping people updated as well but again you just sometimes you just want to have time you deserve it you work hard on the mods and it is everything that you're working on the time that you're taking out there's some things you can't go back and do there's times that you miss like luckily i haven't but i do I probably think there is people that have missed important things maybe not so much to do modern but there is times where you're like i'll go and watch the telly even something like so simple of going to watch the tv with your family or something that can sometimes and i have sacrificed that time and i've looked back and i think regrets a little bit but now i don't do that because i've learned and i know more of the mod art uh, the art of modern um and being a mod maker um next tip is probably to network with other mod makers i've said this before as well and speaking getting influence getting help don't be afraid to ask for help um you're not going to be looked stupid that people will always accept you um i've actually made like kind of pen pal with another channel over just welcoming them in and speaking to them and then getting to know them and now we're like kind of really good pen pals so it can pay off as a mod maker to speak to other mod makers you get really good ideas as well um and the next tip would be to do something for yourself and don't release it publicly now what i mean by this is i'm going to work on i'm working on something for me meaning that there's no pressure there's no there's never going to be a public announcement i will do gameplay at some point but it's not even in the stages of being done but i'm going to do that because i want my mod to be up there but i also want something that i can enjoy and focus and take time on which is something you can't do otherwise because 
you're always expecting to release it. Whereas if you do something for yourself and you make it for you only, and maybe share it with like one of your friends or something if they've got it, because you trust them. But yeah, um, uh, so yeah, uh, just be um, enjoying it and just uh, take that time for you to do like one for you, just privately. Um, and probably my last tip, I'm trying to think if there's any other tips I can think of. Um, again, the asking permission one, you don't need to. I do if it's something like I asked Diablo X from TW and just said, look, I'm going to make fancy mod, do you mind? He said it was okay. I was like, thank you. Um, that is just a courtesy thing. I know real world mod people aren't going to ask and that's understandable, but when it's something that's like a rare mod, then yeah, I do sometimes think ask, but you don't have to. I just do because that's just part of me. Um, asking um, anything else I can think of. I'm trying to think now, it's really tough. Um, I can't think of anything at the minute what I can think of for mods advice from what I've said because I kind of think I've said everything I want to say. If I forgot, I'll put it in the next part because I will probably do more. But yeah, just for people like, just like for mod makers in general, like, Take time off for your mental health. Don't be scared to say I need a break. This is very stressful at times. Um, especially because this game, like PWS especially, is still in early access. So that's another point actually. With this game, you've got to be always one step ahead of being willing to add stuff and change. Because stuff will change. So contracts may change. Um, meaning that you might get more contract options. Meaning that you might have to change half of your roster's contract. Um, like I remember when countries and regions went in, I nearly bloody cried because I was like, oh my god. And then I did loads of them and then I, I said to people, like, I've added them in. They downloaded it to import, that was fine because I want people to have as much choice. Um, so yeah, this game will always be updated at the minute, but it's still early access. So your mod has to be one step ahead all the time. You have to think what could be added and that, so you have to think like that. Um, but yeah, overall, like, I just think, like, to people who aren't mod makers, like, just understand that there is times when we say we're finished, we're finished. If I'm reactivating our WC series, I will let him know. But yeah, I just think, for me, it's all about being kind, it's all about being nice, and it's all about understanding some people, too. Um, oh, last tip, and it's actually really important, and I suffered this with Music Wars with a collab. Um, I'm working on a collab version with someone. But um, someone joined and took our work. So be very careful who you're letting in. Like, again, with the mod I'm doing for the other game, uh, me and this guy, really nice guy, again, become kind of friendly with him and got to know him. Um, we have got a mod ready and someone wanted to join in, which was like, fine. Five minutes later, they took the mod, put it up as their own and stole it even though we worked on all them ideas. So just be careful on who you're letting in and try and get to know them beforehand because that was something I regret. And they actually go on another music game, so I was really annoyed right there. So that's actually more a wary thing to keep your eye on. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my mods, tips and little tricks ideas. Um, I will do more. Um, again, for the next two weeks, I might not be able to. I definitely won't be able to do next week. And the week after, I'm maybe getting a tooth out, so wisdom. So I definitely won't be if it's like after a Wednesday. But yeah, I hope everyone's okay. Um, I will at some point, I'm not getting the new laptop till next year. So I will maybe, I'm going to get um, the championship promotion game that I played the other day. Um, and again, thanks for the views with that. It's done really well. Um, so I'll definitely continue that. I will do more gameplay in the future. I might do a TW gameplay because I've can get i got a mod that actually works. And it's right up my street. It's fantasy, so it fits me like a glove. Um, War, War of the what was it? War of the Immortals mod it is. It's really good. Um, I recommend that mod to be on TW. There is a um, vanilla version for PWS, but again, um, I'd wait a bit because some of them the the thing is they can't convert over to PWS easy, so that's why a lot of TW mods have not come over. Unfortunately, I wish they had off, but again, you never know. It was all about time, but there is another booking game coming out next year, I believe, which I will be covering on my channel. 
Um, again, I've got to know the developer pretty well. Um, really nice guy. Um, so yeah, it's and also you make connections being a mob maker. That's probably the biggest thing. But you've got to prove that you're kind of in it for the long haul. Um, I get connections. I, I mean, I don't get connections, but I, I've made connections where if there's a game I'm, I have just been releasing, I don't know, I'll get a message. So it's really nice. But yeah, that is always the benefit, and you make a little community in that, and it's really nice. So yeah, the only tips and tricks for today is being a mob maker. Um, don't forget to like share, subscribe, comments, all of the above. Um, and I shall speak to you all soon. So yeah, thank you all. Bye.